All right. This is a toy. Most people would call it an infinity cube. I call it the green machine, but that toy has been misplaced. So now it's the blue machine. What it does is this. So people might think of it as being a kind of a fidget toy. And indeed, it works very well as that. But it can be 3D printed. In this case, I really haven't done a good job with the joints. But I use it to teach a bunch of math games in addition to using it as a toy. And the first math game I teach is meant to teach perfect squares. And I use the surface area of one of the surfaces in order to do it. It goes something like this. One times one is one. Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. Four times four is sixteen. I can multiply. I can multiply. Five times five is twenty-five. Six times six is thirty-six. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Eight times eight is sixty-four. I can multiply. I can multiply. The tune is ripped off of They Might Be Giants. Now, there's other things you can do besides introducing the idea of perfect squares. For example, this can be used to investigate volume. If we pop this one out, the size would be one by one by one. So, what is the three-dimensional volume that's taken up by that one by one by one block? It's one block. Now, one, two, one, two, one, two. What is the volume of something that has two sides and two sides and two sides on how wide it is, how tall it is, and how thick it is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight blocks in that three-dimensional space. It's also true that two times two is four. What's four times two? Eight. Let's look at it another way. Two, two, two. So, the volume of the cube is two by two by two. Two times two is four. Two times eight. Two times four is eight. You gotta go through it pretty slowly. And I have other toys that allow you to expand on it. But just the infinity cube can introduce the basic concept. It can also be super useful for learning about surface area. So you could do that like this. One, two, three, four. How many blocks on this side? Four. The two-dimensional space that this takes up is four blocks. One, two. How many blocks are taking up this side? Two. So the area, the two-dimensional space that's covered, is two blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many blocks take up this surface? Eight. So the surface area of this size is eight. If you use a toy like this, then you need to follow up the drawing or other blocks. It's really necessary to link the tools. However, <clears throat> the advantage of this is that it's very portable. You can revisit the lessons as a child is playing. It helps you teach area and volume, which are normally pretty hard concepts to wrap your head around. 
having something in your hands that assists in that learning lesson that you can just fidget with makes it a lot easier.